Yes. Just all. Oh. Bro, they're huge. Look, they're still chasing it. Throw in there, Dad. There's a whole pack of them, dude, and I got a big one. Back to another episode of kicking the bass tv today we are in atlanta georgia and we're about to do some spotted bass fishing today it's been a second i actually got a special guest behind the camera right now we're not going to show him yet don't say anything and uh we're gonna have a good day today we're gonna try to catch some big spotted bass have a good time um it's been a second since i've been out here on lake lanier so i'm just excited to be out here be in the atlanta area it's a beautiful day last couple weeks have been raining so much i, I can't hide from it and today's just like perfect it's amazing it is a little hot, but that's going to be okay. We're going to go ahead and rig our baits up here in a moment and uh, try to catch some fish today. If you guys are new to the channel, hit that subscribe button. Hit the notification bell. Also, hit the like button. If you guys have been enjoying the content, we're going to hop right into this one. What's popping, people? Daddy Van Dam coming at you with another butt whooping on Noah today. We're out here on Lake Lanier fixing to get it done. It's good to see my son. He hasn't been home in a minute. We're going to get out here. We're going to enjoy the lake, enjoy the weather and enjoy each other. We always have a good time we're out here and we're gonna take you along for the ride so you can see some father-son action. So we're gonna go ahead and get this started, see if we can catch some fish today, rig up some rods, get the GoPros ready, get everything rocking and rolling. You ready, Daddy Bang Dam? You ready? <laughs> you know! Look so, at this. Look at this pimp grill I got right here. Grill? Pimp <laughs> grill, baby. You know what I'm saying? So we're gonna go ahead and get at it, guys. Go out to our first spot, talk a little bit about what we're doing today. Hopefully land some really big spotted bass. I'm excited for it. We're at a weird time in the afternoon today. We're, it's 11.45 and it's just blazing hot. So hopefully we'll catch them today. I'm hoping they're gonna come up for top water too because if we get on the top water bite, it's some of the best footage that you guys are ever gonna see. So let's hop into it. All right, everybody, we're gonna get this started. If you guys didn't know, this is actually where I grew up fishing. Um, this is literally Lake Lanier. I grew up spotted bass fishing. Didn't even know how to catch a dang largemouth. <laughs> you know, we fish out here all deep. That's clear, deep, clear water. These big spots. Lanier is an awesome fishery. I'm sure a lot of you guys fish it, but it can be tough if you don't know what you're doing. You can't just come out in this lake and come catch fish. That ain't how this place works. You gotta know how to catch these fish, but I haven't been out here in a good minute, so this is gonna be fun play around and see if we can get these fish today so i'm gonna go ahead and rig up a few rods i think what i'm gonna start off with is probably like a shaky head a top water and a fluke and that's probably what i'm gonna go for so on this rod on the new kicking combo by the way if you guys want to check out like any of the baits or rods that i'm using i have the discount codes and links down below you can go copy something but i believe i'm actually going to put my shaky head on this kicking combo that's what i'm going to do so we're gonna go ahead and rig this thing up first get us a little shaky head warm on let's even catch fish on it. it's probably what we're gonna have to do with the sun being up today and it's super hot we're gonna have to slow down some something i don't have my spinning combo with me for like a drop shot but shaky head would be be good Aaron, 20 foot There we go, got the shaky head on. We're getting one of these KVD Perfect Plastics Watermelon Red finesse worms. What I usually do is, you know, most of these shaky heads that I use have a little screw lock and the bait, you know, is narrowed at the front. So what I usually do is take a little bite right off the front of it. And you can screw that bait perfectly in just like that. Boom. Boom. Right there, boys. It's an old shaky worm, old shaky head. I think I catch them out here. For my next rod, I'm actually gonna put on a gunfish. This is just one of my confidence baits out here. I was thinking about putting on a sexy dog, but I was like, you know what? I'm gonna start off with a gunfish, something that kicks up a little bit of water, especially with it not being too windy today. I think this bait would be a great choice. Cut a lot of big spots in the past on this thing. I just don't know if they're gonna come up. That's the only thing. He's been throwing that top water since I've been tying on. He hasn't had nothing, but we've seen a few fish boil here and there at the top, chasing some bait. Go ahead. Got that one all tied up. 
Now on this final rod, I'm going to put a three to four uh, extra wide gap hook, and I'm just gonna put a standard little fluke on this one. And that'll be the three rods that we're gonna go with today. We need to adjust, we need to adapt, we'll change up, but I think we should be solid with those baits. All right, we're good. All right, put the fluke rod right there. Grab our top water rod. Actually, set her down right there. I might. I don't know. You want to fish this wall up here, dude? We had a lot of luck. Like up there. We had a lot of fish behind us. I was wondering if we shouldn't throw out a little further. I see one down below. You scan some right behind us. Oh. That's a shaky head down there. Yeah, they're gonna eat that fluke today. I think that fluke in the shaky head is gonna be key. Boy, we stay like this, we do well. Yeah, I know. Oh, that feels good. I got one. Do you? He came off. Or is he running? He's running at me. First spot in a minute, baby. Look at him taking off. A little tiny. Got the first fish of the day. A little tiny squirt. Hey, you gotta start somewhere, right? First spot, pull up to and catch one. This. Look how hyper he is, dude. You oh, forget. Fish out here fight, there ain't no. Whoop, there went your worm. You take half of it? Half your worm just went flying through <laughs> there. Look how pretty that fish is, though. Like the markings on him. He ain't big, but he's pretty. Number one. See you later. He didn't even hit it. He just like loaded up on it. He ate that worm in half. I saw it fly out. I'm gonna throw it still. <laughs> yeah, right when I hopped off those rocks, he had it, but he didn't hit it. He just kind of, what in the world? I know there's one more here, even if it's small. You got him. Biggin? Dude, you got a you got a good one. I saw the side of him. He ain't big. Better one. That's like a two pounder, right? Oh gosh, dude, that's a good one, though. Nice. <laughs> that's a decent little fish. There's one more here. Yeah, that's a two pounder. All two right. pound spotted bass. Look at that one, guys. That one's pretty. Markings on him. Daddy's on the comeback trail. One on a fluke and one on a shaky worm. That's pretty fish. Right Dude, on, you babe. should feel how sharp his teeth are from him eating that bait, eating all them hair. A lot than a large mouth. Yeah. That's a pretty one, though. That's a good one. Nice. Maybe there's another one up there. You might as well fish down this bank. All right. Well, there we go, guys. Two fish start off the day. Dead of Van Dam got him a good little high one. I, I there we go guys we got two fish we've only been fishing for about 10 15 minutes dude he was up there pretty shallow too he was in that shade he was way up there i mean he was shallow i think they should be up there i mean honestly the lake goes up right they should be up there looking at new territory yeah Those things are huge. Look at that. That Crazy one boat can do all that. Mmm, <gasps> please eat it on the fall. He saw the boat. He ain't gonna eat. He's about as big as yours. You might, I think, I think you could see it on the camera. Yeah, this water's so clear. Yeah, dude, I was just reeling in and he was just tailing it. I wasn't paying attention. I didn't notice it until last second. He was 
He was oh, definitely. <laughs> he was, uh, what he was doing, I had my bait on the bottom hopping. I bet he was just kind of nose down at it. And then when you pulled it away, he went to. Yeah. Bite too. That was a great bite. That wasn't a small fish. I think that was a bigger fish. I think I just waited a second too late for him. I might be able to throw back in there and catch him. You know, I didn't stick him at all. You suck me right off. Scary. Another one right here. Oh, gosh, that was a good one, dude. I knew he was sitting down there, too. That felt like a dang good one. I felt it for a couple seconds. I can't believe they're on these rocky points this good, dude. Crazy. Ain't worth it. Like almond milk could close my throat up instantly. I used to could drink it. Got him? Dang right, I got him. It's a different fish, but there's a lot up here. No one got him a little friend over there. <laughs> They're fat as can be. I will say that, dude. And they're fat. There you go, guys. Third fish. Keep missing them, man. I, we still haven't. We've only been out here for 30 minutes, but I we could have over five fish right now. I missed a dang good one right here. Finally got him to eat. We're gonna catch one on top water right here. You got some wind going over it too. It looks perfect. That gunfish spitting water. Literally perfect. We're gonna have a few blow up. And I'm in 30. Where you usually get bit, just right up there. Right yeah, now we're sitting in 35. It's a lot deeper right here. Come on. I know there's some up there that'll eat it. Yes. Just all. Oh. Woo. Bro, they're huge. Look, they're still chasing it. Throw in there, Dad. There's a whole pack of them, dude, and I got a big one. You better get that top water. There's a whole pack of them right there. Dang it, the big one missed mine, bro. This is a small one. Gosh dang it. That was cool, though. Yep. Guys, I had a wolf. Did you see how big those ones were at first? There's some four pounders. That's a decent little fish, but not a big one. I'm gonna throw right back in there. Bite, What's that? That was a good top water. Yeah, it was. They just all schooled up on it. Dude, if you would have had your top water, you would have ate it. There's a whole There's a whole school of them right there. Those the ones that blew up on me at first were four pounds, dude. Those are big. Oh, oh what? <laughs> Is he big? No problem. Oh, dude, dude, that's a good fish. Don't lose him. He just followed it back to the boat? Yep, he chased it That's out. wild. Got him on a jig. That's a freaking good one, dude. Flip him up here. That's a good fish. That's a good two pounder. Was, Look at that. I was reeling it up and then he came back and snatched it. 
I, I can't believe he ate it at the boat. I didn't think he was going to get it, and then he finally chased it and got it. Look how fat that sucker is, dude. Huge belly. That's a nice fish. Right on. It's a good one. Heck yeah. So we got, you got one on a fluke, one on a jig, and two on a figure today. It's a pretty one. Yeah, they're on these points, dude. So two on a shaky head, one on a fluke, one on a jig, and a top water. Caught them on just about everything. How long has that bridge been up? They just finished it. They just, like, two weeks ago, took down the last piece of the green bridge. Huh. Well, they like work their way down it? No, they built this one while the green one was up. And then they come back and started tearing down the green one piece by piece. They didn't drop any of it in the lake. They took it all out of here. Really? Oh, ooh. Yes. Dude, he was running with me so bad. <laughs> He's not big. But <laughs> Dude, he was hammering that thing. I'll tell you that. It's not big, but it's a fish. Yes, it is a fish. Right after my dad just caught... I want on a jig guys we you know we started off the day fishing a bunch of like not even a bunch of we fished this one rocky bank that we used to fish back in the day that was a look how small that fish is but how fat his belly <laughs> yeah, two pound body on a one pound fish <laughs> they've been eating that herring i can tell by their lips but the thing is we start off on that like rocky bank kind of steep super steep drop off oh, do you have one there's one eating bait under me. Look at this, guys. Let me show you. That's a fish chasing bait right there. It's pretty cool. Just pushed up a little shallow on this, but still fish up there. You want to fish this one? Oh. That was a, feels like a decent one. Nah, he's small. <laughs> that was pretty cool. He ain't big, but he's something. Whoop. A tiny spot. Something. Uh, we haven't had a bite in a minute. <laughs> he's something. That bait wasn't even on the bottom, dude, because that dock's 60 foot. <laughs> that bait was nowhere near to getting 60 foot. Get it on the fall. 